Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. So this is week 17 from 2018. And I am working on this layout, like th I think it's three weeks later because it's at the end of May. Actually, I think this week was the 23rd and today is the 24th of May. So it's a month later. I'm definitely behind on my Project Life. I've been working on some other projects like week in the life uh, i've been doing some other assignments and stuff so i have a backlog of stuff that i want to get to but that's totally fine because i have my story journal so that will help me be able to tell stories uh, and the other thing that i have done for week 17 18 19 and 20 actually because i just printed out week 20 is to print out the photos put them in the uh, page protectors and then when I have time I can work on the spread so that's one of the things that I do um, as I move forward I'm always trying to edit my photos as I go along so I don't like have a huge backlog of photos that have been unedited anyway I am using studio calico's April kit so I used the May kit before because I was the guest designer during May, so I had to work on those assignments during April. So um, I am just now getting to my April kit and I was looking through it. That's what you saw me do, is just kind of looking through some of the cards that I thought would work well with this spread. And one of the things that I realized, um, instead of you know maybe looking at my photos and letting my photos help me tell the stories for the week, you know, the the stories that I was putting in the three by four pockets, I actually decided to let the cards be story prompts for me. So one of those cards, the one that's got the box says this afternoon, and then it has a list of hours. And so I thought that that'd be great to pick one of the days and just write some of the things that were going on. I think it actually says this morning. I can't remember. I think I changed it. Yeah, I think it said this afternoon and then I changed it to this morning because you see I've got my story journal out and I was just re-reading what went on during the week and what day would be best or what, you know, if it would be a morning or afternoon. So I decided to do an afternoon. The other one, uh, one of the cards says reading and watching. So that's the one that has the pink and the gray boxes. It says reading and watching. So I thought that that would be a great one to add, just kind of like update what I'm reading and what I'm watching. And then the other card says can't live without, and it has the three boxes. So I thought that that would be a really great uh, story prompt as well to be able to just tell three things right now that I can't live without. So... I thought that instead of just telling stories based on the photos, that it would be fun to use the story prompts. So definitely was not able to get all the stories um, told for this week, but that's totally okay. Uh, like I've told and, and mentioned in the past several times, you're not gonna get everything told and that's not really the point, but it is fun to look back and be able to see some of this general information about like, what are you reading? What are you watching? What can't you live without? Those sorts of things. So one of the things that I did wanna mention that I just kind of blew by, uh, the journaling that I just did, not the one I'm working on, but the, the one I did before, that was all about prompts. You can see those prompt pictures um, to the right. And I actually had a lot to say and I knew that I was gonna have a lot to say because I adore these kids and they're graduating and I'm in this moment, they're graduating tomorrow as I'm working on this uh, voiceover. And I just felt like I had a lot to say to these kids. And so I knew it was not gonna fit in that small little space. So you know what, I drew a little arrow and I turned it over and I kept writing. And that's totally fine with me. I don't feel like I have to get all my journaling on one card. So that's just something to um, that's just something to say that just a personal preference of mine. So you could probably do a flip up if you wanted to make it easy and just do a flip up. But I just turned it over just to make things um, easier on myself and know that as I'm reading it in the future, I can just pull the card out and read uh, what I wrote on the back. So just a suggestion there for you. If you have too much to say and you can't get it all in one three by four card. So one of the things that I wanted to mention with this spread, because I have uh, 
three other weeks. You know, I've, I've got a backlog of weeks that I'm that I still need to work on. I decided as I was working on it that I was going to make this very simple. And I was, and as I was working and as I was kind of working on my journaling, I thought, you know what, I'm not even going to do any embellishments. This kit had some really cute die cuts. It had a couple, uh, I think I used one of the enamel dots and it had some hearts that I didn't use. So I had some cute stuff in there. And I was just like, you know, I'm not going to embellish it. I am just going to do photos and words and I'm going to call it good and it's totally going to be fine. I don't need to just throw in embellishments and stuff just because I have it, right? And I decided to just keep it really simple. And then, of course, I looked over and I saw these stickers and then I decided to add a few stickers. I think it was because the pink one of those stickers says Happy Habit. And my husband has this habit of uh, waking up in the morning and reading. Uh, one of the first things he does is read first thing. And I took that picture of him. So I, I decided I wanted to use that sticker. And because I was using that sticker, then I thought, you know, what? I should maybe use some of the other stickers. And then I wanted more than one. So then I found some Allie Edwards word phrase stickers that I thought would go well. So each of those photos that I chose has a word phrase sticker. And then I cut up the other stickers that came in the Studio Calico kit. So now I'm just finishing off that last box because I couldn't think exactly, I, I thought of two things that I couldn't live without, like hamburgers and fries, that was one of them. Um, but I couldn't think of a third one, so it just took me a minute, some time to kind of think about what I would wanna add in that box. And then I thought, you know, I'm done. And I was looking at this spread. And then one thing occurred to me that I wanted to do. I wanted to add some numbers to these boxes. And I thought it would be cool. I grabbed over these numbers that came. This was, I think, a one little word product from Allie Edwards. I will link it if I can find it in the shop, if it's available. I'm sure that the digital version is available. But I'm using some Studio Calico gray ink. This is the gray area ink. and. One of the things I love about Studio Calico is it's really great for second generation. So when you stamp it once and then you stamp it again, it really gives a clean impression, but it's a lot lighter, which is what second generation stamping is. And so it's actually hard to see on the video, the one, two, and three that I added, but it actually looks really cool in real life. So I'm really glad that I added those there and then it's just a hint of something. And then I wanted to, um, kind of separate all those white cards together so that's why i moved the green one over anyway you guys i am done with this spread it, it really was one of those spreads as i was recording it i thought you know really should i be putting this up on youtube it's very simple pretty plain it's not innovative but i just wanted you guys to realize that and i've said this a million times it doesn't have to be innovative it doesn't have to be anything grand uh, some weeks are more simple than others and it's just photos and words and really it's all just about getting our stories told, right? So hopefully this can provide you with some inspiration to just get your stories told and down on paper. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate your support on my channel. If you are new here and you not yet subscribed, please do so. Thank you guys and we will see you in the next video.